Happy Friday. Good news this week includes the unveiling of the next class of laureates for the Greater Johnstown Cambria County Business Hall of Fame. Sam Catneys, who's chairing this year's Business Hall of Fame, introduced this year's laureates at a virtual press conference this week. They include Elmer Laszlo of First Summit Bank, Mike Smith of Laurel Auto Group, David Davis, formerly of UPMC Lee, Mountaintop Technologies, and CTC, and the late Pauline Gordon, who was an early trailblazer in mortuary science, who also helped start the Women in NAACP chapter. The 2022 induction ceremony will be held on Friday, April 29th at ACES. The event is co-sponsored by the Chamber and Junior Achievement of Western Pennsylvania. UPJ this week announced a new partnership with the Flood City Youth Fitness Academy. A program called I Rise will use UPJ education majors to provide children at the Downtown Academy with extra help in math and reading. The effort is part of Learning Lamps Tutoring Course, which is funded in part with a $10,000 grant from AT&T. Congratulations to Mount Aloysius College, who's been named a Center of Academic Excellence for Cyber Defense by the National Security Agency and the Department of Homeland Security. Only 16 schools in Pennsylvania and 350 nationwide hold the Center of Academic Excellence excellent status. The Cambria County Farm Bureau held its annual Winter Ag Association breakfast this week, sharing information on upcoming programs, including technical and financial assistance for farmers, how to source local produce and meats for local food pantries, and some of the challenges and successes realized through the COVID pandemic. The Bottle Works Ethnic Arts Center resident studio artists, instructors, and student artists kicked off the 2022 exhibition season with two amazing shows. They are on display at Art works now through April 2nd. So be sure to check these out because we have amazing talent right here within our own community. Highlands Library in Richland is once again holding its blind date with a book in February. Books are beautifully wrapped with only one line of copy showing. So you have to take a chance and see how it works out for you. What a fun way to try something new. Tickets are still available for this Sunday's Champagne Campaign at Bottle Works. It benefits the Johnstown Symphony Orchestra and Operation Beautiful, which helps women with medically related hair loss. A warm chamber welcome this week to Locker Candles. They make beautiful soy candles right here at home in Cambria City. Happy Friday. Good News Friday is brought to you by Wessel & Company and First Summit Bank.